Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, today I'm not in my allotment plot, I'm actually in my garden. So welcome to my little London terraced garden. I actually have a few jobs to do in my back garden today so I wanted to film a little vlog um, just like a relaxing day in my little London terrace garden but it's actually so noisy today um, it's like one of the noisiest days out here that I've ever experienced I've got trains going by there's there's a building work going on there's sirens but that is literally life in a London garden unfortunately and I'm in quite a small little terrace garden as well so there's nothing I can really do about it but I can still have a nice relaxing day in the garden and I can just put music over it all so you won't hear any of the any of that basically <laughs> if you do enjoy my YouTube videos and you enjoy my channel I'd love for you to hit the subscribe button and come and follow me on Instagram and on my blog where I write regular blog posts all about everything to do with gardens and allotments basically um, and I'd love to have you following my little journey along we're gonna get on with some gardening jobs today. I've got uh, to mow the lawn, I've got to plant out some herbs, and I'm gonna talk you through my new little raised bed that I made at the front with Tommy, um, which you might have seen in a YouTube short. I'm making little YouTube shorts now. I'm not very good at them at the moment. I'm trying to figure out how to do them, but they're quite fun. And I made a little no dig raised bed with my son Tommy, um, because he's desperate to get into gardening, which I think is just fantastic. So I helped him do that. Um, and I'm also going to talk you through my tomato plants and what's going to happen with them and show you my little courtyard vegetable garden. So without further ado, let's start by mowing the lawn. <laughs> So there is our lawn, all mowed, looking a little bit nicer I think. I just want to show you the edges because I like to leave them long um, for wildlife. I think everyone should leave a little bit of their lawn long in the garden and leaving the edges long is quite an easy thing to do because in most of your lawn is already like is like nice and neat and then it sort of frames it a little bit, it looks quite nice having all this long wispy grass at the edge absolutely nothing to do with the fact that I can't be bothered to strim it all <laughs> after um, and also I just want to show you this little bit in the middle of our lawn because it sinks in the middle when we laid our turf it used to have like a dug-in pathway through the middle of our lawn and we filled it in but obviously not enough and it's sunk down and that's why I've got these sort of gaps in the turf here turf or lawn whatever you want to call it but yeah we laid it down but it's sort of sunk in the middle so we've got these little patches now um, that haven't got any grass on and I need to build it up basically yeah I need to build up the um, soil basically so that it's level again and put some new turf down or grass seed but that's a job for another day not for today so right now we're going to plant out our herbs if you're like me I don't really like growing herbs from seeds because I'm just terrible at it everybody oh, <laughs> eating my hair everybody always tells me how easy it is to grow herbs and seeds but I've always just really struggled with them and I don't know why um, but they're very cheap to pick up so I went to B&Q um, and I picked up a little bundle of herbs for £10 which I think is excellent so I'll show you what I've got here I've got I've got some garden thyme which is beautiful um, I have got some, I don't know, it's, oh, it's oregano, I do know oregano, um, so get a little pot of that. I got some parsley, um, a little pot of sage, and some chives, <laughs> straight in my mouth, 
Um, yeah, some lovely chives which are about to flower, which is so beautiful. Um, and I also got with the kit a little pot of mint. Now mint is going to go into a separate pot because um, it's very invasive. It's a bit like strawberries. It just kind of keeps reproducing and making more of itself. Also, did you know that if you plant one type of mint with different types of mint, all the mint will end up like um, tasting the same. So if you planted um, a normal mint, I keep saying normal mint, this is garden mint, next to like a peppermint, it will subdue the flavour of the peppermint. So mints should basically either be kept in a pot or kept separate from other herbs. Quick tip, that's something I learned from gardeners world actually, thought I'd share it with you. So I've got this pot which I picked up from Wilco's and I think it was about £2.40 which is insane. It is plastic um, and it's from their Clever Pots range which I just love um, and I'm going to put them into here. I think this is quite a good little container. So herbs all tend to like different things, so a lot of herbs like a really rich fertile compost and some herbs like a really poor compost but what they all like really well is good drainage. Um, so what I'm going to do is line the bottom of my pot with some small rocks which I think will really help with drainage and then I'm going to use a peat free multi-purpose compost because I think everything likes multi-purpose compost, that's why it's called multi-purpose. So I'm going to line this with some small rocks first. So these are just from my garden path because I'm getting a little bit sick of having to just keep buying everything all the time. So I'm trying to reuse as much as I've got in my garden now. <laughs> Not a happy plant. Come on, in you go. amazing where I'm just like touching them all and moving them to plant them it's just giving off such an amazing aroma it's just delicious I just want to eat the whole thing <laughs> right so now we're gonna plant the mint so I have this little terracotta pot here which is filled with multi-purpose compost and he's gonna be pretty chuffed to get his own room I think aren't you mate? Look at the roots on this one as well, they're just coming right out. Poor thing needs to get in a pot right now. He's definitely a little bit pot bound, hopefully we can bring him back to life. It might be quite a good idea if you do a little herb thing yourself to mulch it with something. I know a lot of people like to mulch their herbs um, with like little stones or some wood chip or something and I think that is to keep the moisture in um, and stop them from drying out and also to stop weeds from growing them in them as well. Um, I'm not going to do that right now just because I don't want to keep using the stones but I think I will buy something to mulch these pots um, in. So now I'm going to water them. <laughs>
I am happy to say the sun is finally coming out in the garden so it's just warming up really nicely and the rain is just gone so that's excellent news. I wanted to show you a little raised bed that I made with Tommy here. It's a no dig raised bed um, and you can find out more on my Instagram if you go follow it or have a look at my, one of my YouTube shorts that I put up. It shows you just how we made it but basically it's just cardboard compost and then the plants. Tommy's just been absolutely obsessed with having a um, little raised bed that's just his own that he can plant into. Um, so he's got some, I just picked these up from B&Q. They were quite cheap actually, I think it was three for 12 pound. So I got a couple of dahlia plants. Um, and then I can't remember the name of that one. I think it's a geranium. And then this little one down here, I think they're called pinkies or something, pinky. Um, but I don't know the real name of it. But yeah, it was just a being cute. It's so pretty. And he's got these little strawberry plants at the front. Um, and then some tomatoes here. And some of his sunflowers at the back. Um, and I have actually dug underneath this to make sure that the area is like dug down. The soil underneath this is not very good. But I did manage to dig into it a little bit and really break it up. Because the sunflowers in particular are going to need quite deep... Um, roots to put their roots quite deep um, but this is just basically compost which has been put over um, a layer of cardboard easy A lot of my flower borders are now starting to come to life. Um, I picked up these from B&Q a little while ago. I think these are foxgloves. Um, but it came in a massive pack and they were really cheap. I think they were in the discount section. They were being sold off really cheaply. Um, and I planted them all out in this bed here. And they're all just starting to come into flower now. Which is just beautiful. Such lovely plants. Um, and I've moved this plant to the back here. I can't remember the name of him. What's he called again? I think it's a cordial cordeline. Or something like that anyway the snails love him so I had to move him out of my um, raised planter at the back and then this is my shady border so we've got things like ferns and stuff like that I do have a couple of dahlias which are coming back up again which is amazing and this one did really well in the shade last year so I've left him there um, and then you can see along here I've got some oh this is something Tom was making which seems to have landed in one of my he's making a water thing to have the water we're going to put it to the fence and put bottles at angles like that to have the water running down um that shouldn't be in there <laughs> yeah but this grass has come into like again I don't know the name of it but it's so beautiful um and then along the border I've got another dahlia finally coming into life which is amazing Oh, and a great big piece of cat poo. Brilliant. Didn't even notice that. Fantastic. It seems the cats not only don't like my allotment plot, but they don't like it here either because they seem to treat my bed as a toilet for some reason. Um, but there we go. Um, also, I've got a phlox here. Is it called a phlox or a flax? I think it's a phlox. Um, and last year it was quite small. I had it in a pot. And when it finished flowering, I whacked it into one of the raised beds. And now, look at it. It is just stunning, it's massive. I think I'm gonna get absolutely massive flowers on this this year. So exciting, I actually split it and I've got half of it over there as well. So, two floxes in the garden. And then on this side of my garden, this is my sunny border because it's in sun pretty much most of the time. Um, and it's covered in forget-me-nots at the moment, which is so beautiful. So I have my um, asters on this side um, and I've got all loads of forget-me-nots I have my little apple tree which hopefully we'll get some apples in this year um, you never know and then down here I've got lots of um this is a oh what's the it's like a Japanese anemone one which sends up bright pink flowers it's really beautiful um, and then lots more down there thing is I don't always remember the name of everything I put in my garden because I just buy so much from garden centres um, and I try and buy everything it's like for a cottage garden because that's kind of the the look I'm going for is quite cottagey but if I see something that's not typically a cottage garden plant and I like it I'll still whack it in anyway um, because I just love plants. <laughs>
wanted to share with you um, what I am doing with my last three tomato plants. So I've got three tomato plants left um, and I don't want to put them in the polytunnel because I've got so many in the polytunnel. So somebody told me on here um, that you can buy buckets from B&Q for one pound and they're perfect sized for tomatoes. So I've got myself three buckets for a pound from B&Q. Um, I don't know how big these are. 12 litres. <laughs> it's got a little scale in here. So they're 12 litres basically. And I think I can get one tomato in each of these. Um, obviously I'm going to have to drill some holes on the bottom as well and raise them from the floor. But I just thought that was a really brilliant idea that someone gave me and it's so cheap, it's only a pound. The only thing is I don't have any compost to do it at the moment. Um, so I'll have to do that in a week. But somebody did also tell me that you can plant tomatoes quite deep. Um, and I always thought it was up to sort of the first leaf, so there, but actually you can plant them a lot deeper than that and they will form roots out of the stem. So I'm going to try and plant these ones a little bit deeper and just see how well they do. So those are where my tomatoes are going to go. Um, I already have one tomato out in a grow bag and I have so much growing in my little courtyard vegetable garden at the moment. It's actually amazing how much fruit and veg you can fit in such a small space um, and it's looking really alive. So I'll show you a little tour of what's growing out here. So these are my potatoes that I've got growing in a grow bag. Look at the size of them. They are flipping massive. I'm so excited to harvest those. Um, and I won't, they won't be ready to harvest until they start flowering and then dying back once the flowers are finished. So a little while to go yet. I've got some broccoli in here, which is doing really well. I think I could have probably planted that a bit deeper. I might try and top up the compost when I get some new compost um, and keep those a bit more secure. And then in here I've got carrots, which I'm not bothering to thin because I'm too scared to. Um, but they're doing really well in a pot. And then this is my fennel, which I've just put out, which is why it's got little slug protectors and greenhouse protector on there. But there's three little fennels in there. Never grown that before, so we'll see how that goes. There's my tomato. Um, and then here I've got my cauliflower. It seems to be going a bit yellowy I don't really know why um in this grow bag I've got a dahlia which I'm very excited to grow it's a really beautiful one I can't remember the name of it but when it grows you'll see it we'll all know the name um and then this is my Jacoby Little he's not done very much else since I put him in sometimes when um you put plants in a very very nutrient rich uh compost they do kind of st it stops them growing for a little bit I think the reason for that is just that when they've got so much goodness around them they think what's the point of spreading out what's the point of reaching out any further I've got everything I need right here and obviously this entire pot is full of multi-purpose compost so he has no reason whatsoever to grow very quickly but he will get going he will and he will be fantastic and then just behind him I've got my peas my mange too which are doing so good Again, sorry for all the noise, it's definitely not a quiet garden today. Um, yeah, this is my Monge too, he's doing so good, can't wait for him to start flowering. Oh he is, look, look, he's starting to get some flowers. So we're going to get some peas, that is so exciting. Um, this is my flimsy little greenhouse, I've got lots of bits and bobs growing in there, I'll do a separate tour for that I think, because that's going to take me a while to talk through all of that. Um, and then around here I've got my herb garden which you saw me plant up just a moment ago. I've got some rosemary here which isn't doing too happy. I don't know if maybe it's not getting enough sun there or something. Anyway I'll have a look at him. And then I've stuck some beetroot in here just to see how it goes in a pot. The runny beans died. Don't know why. Sometimes plants just die on me and I don't know why. I might plant some French beans in there or something now. And then I've got these violas which just look beautiful and also the bees love them. They're always coming for these. So pretty. And there you go, that's my vlog today. So I hope you enjoyed this. It's a little bit, something a little bit different, showing you what's going on in my garden because I do do a lot of gardening at home as well. Um, and if you did enjoy it, subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment, let me know what you're up to in your own gardens at home. I'd love to know. And I will see you in my next vlog, which will be on Friday. So I'll see you Friday, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.